one though. The first time they tweeted out that they were closing Zeno, but, but we had people going in being like, is that true? And he's like, no, I'm looking for another like, venue. I don't know yet. But it's yeah. Close, right, the money, unfortunately, just hasn't and doesn't that's seem like it's entirely that's been there. That's not and, Jen. Uh, it, what are you talking about? They're just looking a little different these days. No, nah, that's fair. Well, Mr. E over here and uh, Guy Guy? Yep, this is gonna be a clash here of Long Island's finest. The sound is in full force. I didn't realize the tide could raise that much, but you know what? I guess we're getting a little chaotic today. I'm sure Mr. E is uh, kind of breathing a sigh of relief. He's like, oh, thank God, a Luigi. Just some fairs, space out. This will be fine. That being is said, that what I would say? a single up air, a single aerial switch from Luigi at literally any percent could just mean death. That frame one escape option on the Dolphin Slash though gonna allow Mr. E to get out of dodge for the moment. But that's why we see so many neutral airs, so many down airs and up airs from Guy Guy. It's, the, it's not always optimal in terms of positioning, but the upside is if you get that those that one hit, their stock is forfeit. And it's a good use of this plunger to force Mr. E to recover low. This recovery in high would be too much, and I don't know about these dolphins. Do oh my god. It's just to create safe pressure, get off me, create space, and reset the situation, right? For Mr. E, again, to play that calculated game plan we've talked about, right? Take everything one interaction at a time and say, I'm playing the queen of neutral. I can play more neutral interactions because I'm just better than you, right? That being said, Guy Guy trying so desperately to force that to not be the case. Here up a stock, holding on for the moment, but Mr. E gonna get out there and get on the board with this one. As long as Mr. E plays evasively and stays outside of these zero to death, uh, you know, combo starters, it should be a pretty even game here. Beautiful parry there by Mr. E, not once but twice to just alleviate some pressure, give himself some extra breathing room, and just the patience coming in full force for that raw of Smash. Hey man, it's max damage, why not? I mean, sure. You know, he's like, you know, if Jen can do it against Melee, I can do it too. The mystery is not Melee. I mean, uh, sorry, against uh, Kirby 509. Mixing up my players here. Plunger the spacing there, forcing Mr. E to not go high, not go low, but just take his time, trying to call you out on the high route back with a back air, but Mr. E fighting back for stage control, fainting the wave land, and that's gonna allow Guy Guy the smallest of openings to take back stage control. All right, we do have a re-grab, but no punish. Instead, we get the tornado on the neutral getup. Mr. E taking another deep breath, trying to hold on to their confidence. Huh? Do you feel a win in here? Because that one just sucked Mr. E right in. But now an awkward angle for Guy Guy. Still had a jump in the pocket, but Mr. E had the back air as well. And that thing, one of the best single buttons for edge guarding in the game. Hey, I was kind of hoping for a misfire there. But, uh, you know, this Luigi, Guy Guy felt it, but didn't come out. I'm sure we'll see that in game two, though. The unfortunate air dodge, though, the early tech gonna allow you to get in buffer free, and that is what you were talking about, Swiss. Are those are dol aggressive dolphin slashes from Mr. E? They've been a blessing and a curse, barely able to find his way back after the air dodge, and I love that Cyclone utilizing the aerial version to get the earlier iframes, then immediately land to find the extra shield pressure. And Mr. E back here at the ledge. It's been his favorite home so far. I love how Luigi just scuttles when he crouch walks. <laughs> it's a little crab walk. It's also so good. Like, Luigi is so fast when he crouch walks, like, in terms of the amount of speed he loses, that it can be really hard for a character that likes as many aerials as Lucina to really, like, cover him consistently. The reverse up special, that was just Guy Guy going for the fences if Mr. E went down with it, but not gonna find his mark, and now we're nearing the closing minutes. Guy Guy has the lead to us, but it might be slipping away now. Oh no. That guy, guy just keeps falling out of these nares. Can we? Oh no! We we gotta we gotta talk about that one for just a second. The way that game ended, because Guy Guy, one of the smartest mix-ups of after committing to that cycle, and one of the smartest realizations, heads-up plays you will see here at Zeno. I mean, that anti-air from the up smash, you know, he was missing it like time and time again, but it was just to be like, okay, it, it, I have this it's, option. It's right afraid. here. It's the up air, it's the right. cyclone, and he slips back off the ledge Ooh. like that, right? If you stay on, on stage here, Swiss, yeah. after the cyclone, right, you're going to get caught in landing lag. Look at Mr. E's positioning. Right. He air dodges only when he sees Guy Guy go back off stage. If you stay on stage there, that just turns into a landing back air, and at that percent, well, on Town and City, you're just, or Smashville, sorry, you're just dead. That's the game. So slipping off the ledge there, that Cyclone, super low commitment, it forces a reset on the situation, and because Mr. E Ariel, he can't just swing and find a ledge guard, an edge guard, and so it allowed Guy Guy to come in and close the game out. 
a very safe option from Guy Guy. Doing a great job up ahead one game in this set, but Mr. E looking to kind of found that momentum he needs. And again, these neutral airs, Guy Guy just keeps falling out above. It's not going to be as useful of a tool as with other characters. And Guy Guy playing very disciplined, right? We've been talking about it all night, but sitting under those platforms, keeping your feet on the ground, these characters who love aerials are going to have a harder time getting in on you. And a character like Luigi can throw out that plunger and fireball, right? Further lane your approach, only have a very small bubble in front of them that they have to worry about. But when you can carve a disadvantage to stay up like that, so I said, it might not even matter. No, I mean, these, you know, the green missile, always good, but with Mystery, can just go so low, that's practically a checkmate every time. Going for these grabs from Guy Guy is very, just trying to bait, fight that initial dash in. If you don't find it, okay, who really cares? But when you do, you do just find the stock potentially here at 105. Back throw might just, at least is going to put them in an awkward edge guard situation, if nothing else. But... Right now, it's just Guy Guy saying, okay, well, we gotta find the stock anyway, we can't. Yeah, no one wants to approach first. This would be very happy to poke from a distance. And Guy Guy, oh, Guy Guy's feeling it! This fire? No. Fully charges though. I love the dancing blade there, right? To get the momentum turn around, get the coverage. It might not be optimal damage, but it is optimal safety on a situation. Guy Guy trying to find the movement mix up, but Luigi being so floaty is gonna work against him. There's the misfire switch! There and he go. isn't gonna find the stick either because of the ledge angle allowing him to find the stock. That was crazy! I mean, listen, misfire is a blessing and a curse. Whoa, okay, all right. Nice oh. little plunger there. Can Mystery make it back? Yes, yeah, I can. The slightest of missed micro spacings. Gonna prevent that plunger from falling past ledge. Gonna give Guy Guy this whole dang advantage state, but still not able to close it out on Mr. E. Desperate now to just not let this lead slip away. Show you why the matchup is how it is on paper, as opposed to what Guy Guy's been doing and pulling off this upset in practice. Mr. E doing a really good job just hanging on to that. Okay, you know, he's happy yep. to throw away that stock. Yep. You're at kill percent, you might as well lock down, guarantee the trade, recognize that even if you jump down and hit them, well, they have a jump in the back pocket that might just be able to make it back anyways. Beautiful dolphin slash fight, you don't get out of disadvantage, but you get out of the potential death combo of that getting hit by that second up tilt. It is a bit of a two-way street though, I mean, Luigi is a character that can zero to death. We saw that in game one, and maybe this, uh, you know, kind of giving away that first stock to secure that kill, this could come back to bite Mr. E. As I say, it's not just the zero to death, up tilt back, or one of the shortest kill confirms you're going to see off Luigi. But my friend, again, pretty much any aerial, any percent, can lead to death at that being said, right, the way Luigi has to play, he plays in these awkward ranges, he kind of has to play over aggressive, oh, here because the comes. combo game is the majority of what he has, and overextensions just like that are gonna now give Mr. E a huge window, oh, to potentially find this stock, find this game, and force a game number three. Okay, but that's the kind of the problem here. Guy Guy looking so clean and punishes that attack on shield. Mr. E out of the tournament, and Guy Guy moves on to losers finals. That's just a Huh? That man just said, and I'm gonna just run up shield jump punch. <laughs> sure you can. I mean, that's what it is, right? Yeah. It's, it is the best sure you can, but except at also the worst sure you can because sure you can DPS right are meant as anti-air tools. You know what's an awful anti-air tool, Swiss? What? The super jump punch. Yes, yes, it is. But it hey, you get up in their face. Oh yeah, it it's becomes free. it becomes the best DP in the game. I mean, Mystery was doing really well with those cross-ups on mm -hmm. Shield, but, you know, in this instance, when you're trying to mix it up and, like, land in front instead, and that parry just gave and him enough just, time to, to punish it. To run that one back, to watch this just whole movement interaction. Mr. E, right, under platform, for where his positioning is, mm -hmm. forcing Guy Guy to go high. Guy Guy throwing out the aerial to present, prevent the early jump. Um, forced to land. And knows that he can get a shield with an empty land because of M Mr. E jumped and it wasn't a buffered aerial, so he knows the startup frames, and then drops away to give himself the spacing. Oh. Then just waits because even a falling aerial, what do you do there, right? The worst that happens, the only thing you're scared of with the shield in that position is, well, a shield breaker. Right. But, which Mr. E hadn't gone for. And honestly, out of every Lucina player, kind of goes for the least of all of the top ones. Mm. Guy Guy, I think, counting on that. And, yeah. and, was able to just not account for the one option that scared for it, not worry about the one option that scares him, and able to bait something that closed out the set. It was just beautiful heads up positioning, right? Each interaction there that dropped back baits Mr. E to swing. It says, hey, Mr. E, it's still your turn. Mm -hmm. Here